Hey guys, welcome back to another Steam Deck video. Today's video is going to be very short and it's going to be more of a tutorial than me showing gameplay. If you're in the same boat as me, you have other launchers. You have Epic, you have GOG, you have Amazon, you have Origin, you have all these launchers. And the Steam Deck isn't as easy to run them on as a Windows machine, but there's a solution. So previous to the method I figured out yesterday, thanks to online, because I am not a savvy person when it comes to the Steam Deck. I don't tinker too much of this the same way I do on Windows machines. But the method that people use to launch those other launchers is Heroic Games Launcher. And it does work, right? It doesn't work for every game, but it does work in a easy-ish format where you can sign it to Epic Games and GOG. And you can also add those games to Steam so that when you go to gaming mode, you actually see the cover art, you see the game, and you can go ahead and tweak it from there. What I had an issue with is those games are not only played on the Steam Deck for me. I play them on my PC, I make saves on my PC, I wanna transfer them over, and I just couldn't get the saves to work here. I would go and find the directory, create a new directory for the saves. I would go ahead and try to upload it and I would always get this error saying something, legend, version, whatever. And I looked on different Reddit forums. I looked on different GitHub pages to download different things. And I was like, this is way more difficult than it needs to. And I've tried everything. I tried restarting it. I tried signing in, signing out. I I've tried a lot of things and it was just a big headache. So I was like, you know what? I know there's a way to get other launchers on here other than Heroic. Let me just do that way. And I did, and it works great. So let me show you guys what I did. So whatever launcher you have, go ahead and connect to the internet, and then you're gonna type in non-Steam game launchers GitHub. And then for me, it popped up. Just click on this. Log in right here. And all you're doing from this point, essentially, scrolling down to the GitHub page, and this will show you right here, supported stores. All these stores are supported and you get to choose which one you actually want to do. PlayStation Plus is even here. And then there's also Game Pass, GeForce Now, Amazon Luna, Netflix. There's other services you can access as well. So how do you do it? All you do is hit download. Now I've already done it, so I'm not gonna download it. Once you download it, you can go ahead and move it to your desktop. Once you do that, I have it right here. You just run this. Once you run it, it'll go and ask you which launchers you want. And then it might even ask you what's a URL that you want as a shortcut. You can just hit okay on that while leaving a blank and it will run and it'll finish everything by itself. And then that's it. That's all you have to do in desktop mode. Everything else you're gonna do is gonna be on the gaming side. So let's go to game mode right now. We are in game mode and we're gonna go to non-Steam. Now you see here, Amazon Games, Epic, God Galaxy, Origin. Origin, I think it's actually from a different download, so we're gonna ignore that. I downloaded God Galaxy, Epic, and Amazon Games. And then I also made a collection where I just put them in their own little thing, because I'm that way. So when we launch it, you're gonna hit play. And then this is gonna launch the desktop version of the actual launcher. Now, different launchers will have different updates and things you have to run and install like epic it installs it makes you sign in and then also you have to update it which is no issue at all but from here this is essentially just the, the desktop version and you can also go here if you need to edit the layout you can change the trackpad trackpad behavior is as mouse so now we can move around like a mouse we can go ahead and navigate and you can always change the controls to suit your need a little better so let's do that and then let's make the triggers left mouse and right mouse so now we go here scroll down whatever this is just how it is on the pc and you can go here and you can also see all your games the ones that are available to play. I still think Fortnite doesn't work on Epic. I don't know why, but it doesn't. But everything else I've tried works. Like for example, Sifu. I started Sifu on my PC, Cloud Sync, so it works. It's syncing the data. You don't have to push an upload, pull a download. It it all works like it should work, right? There's no difficult workaround for this game. And just to show you guys that it does work, again, I haven't made any progress on this game on the Steam Deck, but if you see here, story, continue. Like I can continue from where I started.
And then likewise, when I go ahead and make progress on this game, I can just quit out of it and it'll be uploaded to the PC or whatever I'm accessing uh, Epic Games on. And then to exit out, you can either just hit the X up here or you can quit the game. I like doing the X or I just back out. So Epic works. I'll go ahead and show you GOG and Amazon as well. And again, all these setup, the only requirement is just to sign in and you can do that with the on-screen keyboard. Now there will be some games that just don't work on the Steam Deck. I know with Epic, Alan Wake 2 doesn't work because of a VRAM issue, I believe. For GOG, weirdly enough, the one that doesn't work is Metal Gear Solid 2. For some reason, I just can't get this game to work and I don't know why. I've tried before and it just doesn't want to work. So other than this, and this works on the Windows, just not on the Steam Deck. But other than this, the games work. I have Shantae installed, made a save on this, access from my computer. I'm not gonna show you guys that now because there's no point, but it's actually, it works really, really well. It's very dependable and it's way better than Heroic. And I went ahead and installed Amazon as well because I do claim the free games that they give you on Amazon Prime. I'll just go ahead and show you that too. So these are all my Prime games right here, and I can install these, a lot of old school games. And again, for the most part, I've tested about three or four of these and they all run fine, no issues. They install locally to the Amazon app and it saves it to a C drive or whatever drive you, you want. I haven't found where to find these on desktop mode. Again, I haven't dug too deep, but this seems like something that's more done through the Steam game launcher rather than the desktop mode. So if it's something where you like to tweak with things, I know Heroic, you could find the different files on desktop mode. I couldn't find that with this version of the non-Steam game library on there. But again, it's not a big deal. You can always come here, see what's installed, uninstall from here, and it works fine. Now issues, I haven't had too many issues. I guess one of the weird things that I had is that Sometimes when I launch up Steam, these names won't be there. Like they'll just be blank. And I don't know if that's a Steam Deck thing or if that's an actual app thing, but then that's why I made the collection and just put them in there. So if I it is blank, I can just go there and be like, okay, I know this one is Epic, so I put it in the Epic folder. The other issue I had is sometimes when you go into the actual launcher itself, the mapping for the touchpad and everything will reset which is not a big deal. You just go to Steam and then set, okay, I want this trackpad, I want this right click, left click, and it's you're, you're back to it. And the other aspect of this, because everything is done through the GUI when it comes to the actual applications, if you want to go ahead and reinstall a different application, all you have to do is go back to here, run this, and then reinstall it through here. And you'll see here, Amazon Games, Epic Games, God Galaxy, it already has a place. And actually, this is where it's stored. So I just figured that out. But if you want to do start fresh, then you wipe everything. If you want to just add stuff, you would just click on the things you want to add and then go from there. So I already have these, I don't need to add it. Let's go ahead and add, let's go ahead and add the Rockstar Games Launcher. So hit okay. This is what I was talking about, the custom website. Just hit okay on this one. Downloading, installing Rockstar Games Launcher. And then it'll ask you to set it up from here. Sometimes it asks you here. Sometimes you'll have to log in on the GUI side of it. You can set the area for it and we are good to go. Okay, so we'll go to library, non-Steam games, Rockstar Games Launcher, hit play. And then you'll just be prompted to sign in. Personally, I don't, well, I'll play GT on this right now, so I'm not gonna sign in, but just to show you guys that it's pretty easy to set up. So that's essentially it, guys. It's very simple, very straightforward. Once you download this from the GitHub page, everything is, it, it happens on the back end and you don't have to worry about it. And if you wanna uninstall something, you just hit uninstall, and then you'll go ahead and select the one you wanna uninstall. So if you don't want Rockstar Game Launcher anymore, we go ahead and find that, click OK. and it's deleted. And that's it guys. That was just a quick little tutorial. Again, I have nothing towards Heroic Game Launcher. I think it's great. I think it has a little more customizability to cater to the Steam Deck and you can get a little bit more out of it, but this just works. And when I play this system, 
I want things to work. I want things to sync because this is my secondary system. It's not my primary system. So if you guys like the video, please leave a like. If you want to see more on the channel, consider subscribing. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Okay, thanks. Bye.